Welcome to the Progressive Automation's product overview videos. Today we will be going over the PA39 syncing control box. The PA39 is used to synchronize the motion of two actuators with potentiometer feedback. We have four actuators here, but we'll only be using two. Normally, if you're trying to move two actuators off of a power supply, and one has a higher load on it, it will slow down and the actuators will fall out of sequence. Using the PA39, the actuators will always be adjusting their speed so they travel together, regardless of individual load. The PA39 is specifically designed for actuators that have potentiometer feedback. There are three actuators that can be custom made with potentiometer feedback. The PA14, the PA16, and the PA17. Our PA14P, shown here, is our only in-stock model that comes with a built-in potentiometer. The PA39 can also store three positions for the actuator to move to. These are all the parts included with the PA39. We have our control box, a wiring harness, a mounting bracket, a control pad, and the actuator connectors. These connectors need to be soldered to the end of your actuator to simplify attachment. It'll change the end from this to this. See the user manual, page 4, for a wiring diagram. To wire everything together, first we attach the control pad and then plug it into the back of the PA39. And then we can attach the wiring harness to the front. And then we plug in the actuator. Before we deal with all the wires on the wiring harness, we need to set the switches on the back of the control box. These switches are used to set up the PA39. This black switch chooses how many actuators you want to control. Moving it to one side controls one actuator, the center controls both, and the other side controls the other actuator. These red switches are used for the more advanced settings. See page 9 of the user manual, there's a link in the description down below. These switches all start in the off position. Switching them down turns them on. The first switch controls whether the PA39 is activated when the ignition wire, the yellow wire, is connected to 12 volts or ground. This is useful for when you're integrating the PA39 with a project in your car. When the switch is on, the PA39 works when the ignition has 12 volts, and when the switch is off, the PA39 works when the ignition is connected to ground. We're going to turn that one on for our example. The second switch controls whether the actuator moves when the ignition is cycled from 12 volts to ground. If the switch is on, then the actuators will move to position 1 when 12 volts is removed, and position 2 when 12 volts is reapplied. If the switch is off, then this feature is disabled. The third switch is used to set two-stage motion. The actuators can be set so that one moves first, and then the second one moves only when the first has arrived at its position. See the user manual for more details. When the switch is on, the feature is enabled. When the switch is off, it's disabled. The last switch is used to control retraction safety. This makes it so that the PA39 is monitoring the retraction speed of the actuators. If one actuator gets stuck, the PA39 will sense that it has stopped moving and stop both actuators to ensure safety. Turning the switch on enables this feature, turning it off disables it. Now that the switches are set and everything is plugged into the control box, the wiring harness can be finished. Here we have our ignition wire, the yellow one, and since we turned switch number one on, we want to connect it to the red wire, our 12 volts wire. So now we have our 12 volt wire and our ground, which we connect to our power supply. On the red wire, we have a 15 amp fuse that's used to protect the system. These last three wires correspond to the three switches on the control panel. They're used to trigger motion to the different positions instead of using the buttons, but we'll come back to them later. Once we're all done, we can turn on our power supply. Once power is applied, we can use the control pad to move the actuators. By pressing the middle button and one button, the actuators will extend. By pressing the middle button and the other button, the actuators will retract. Once the actuators are in a position that you want, press and hold one of the buttons until the light flashes. 
takes about five seconds. That will store the position in memory. Now, if you move the actuators and then push the button, it'll return to the stored position. Here are the last three wires on the wiring harness. Each of these wires corresponds to one of the buttons on the control pad. By touching these wires to ground, the actuator will move to the corresponding position. Blue is position 1, green is position 2, and white is position 3. These wires can be used to interface the PA39 control box with a microcontroller, or a PLC. We will be going over that in a future video. This has been our product overview of the PA39 syncing control box. You can find this product and more at our website, www.progressiveautomations.com. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us at 1-800-676-6123 or email us at info at progressiveautomations.com. Links to everything shown in this video are in the description down below. Like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to see our new videos as soon as they are released. Stay tuned for more videos in the coming weeks. This has been a Progressive Automation's product overview video. See you next time.